Welcome to the update video. There's been loads of things going on lately. We've done lots of travel. We've got lots of travel coming up. We've got lots of updates that we want to fill you in on. And exciting news, as you would have obviously seen in the title of this video. We're finally. getting married. <laughs> Wedding is probably like the biggest update that we have. Um, it has been five years since we got engaged. Ten, ten years, oh, nine Almost years, nine ten. years together. <laughs> and it's official. We have put down the deposit for our wedding. <laughs> it's happening! <laughs> We're finally putting down the deposit for our wedding villa in Bali. And I literally never thought that this day would come. <laughs> I can't tell you how many times we have attempted to plan, <laughs> replan, reconsider. We've been asked for years, why have you not got married yet? Like, what, when is it happening? But our goal has always been, we've always wanted to get married overseas, not in New Zealand. Yeah. Um, and one of the one of the biggest selling points of that for us is like, we want to bring our very small and immediate friends and family to somewhere that we love and have them experience mm. it like through our eyes as well, like mm. share that side of what our travel has been with them because a lot of our friends and family haven't been to Indo, haven't been to Bali, they haven't experienced that kind of like... The culture, the yeah. food, everything. Yeah, it's been so hard to find the right, the right people and the right situation and this is it. Yeah, this is it. We are working with an amazing company called Bali Love. Mm. Tom is epic, he is helping us plan every detail. Yeah, you know what, it's crazy. I mean, we obviously, we research a lot, we plan a lot. It's kind of like what we do and have done for years and trying to plan a wedding in Bali was like proving really, really hard. And yeah. we've spoken to a bunch of different companies and stuff, trying to find the right person. And then when we spoke to Tom, it was just like- Everything he, fell into place. He gets it, he's from Australia and like runs the business from, from like both sides. Yeah. And it's just unreal. So we're, we're, yeah, we're, we're happy we've found the right guy and an yeah. amazing villa as well, Villa Vedas. It is beautiful. It's everything we could have hoped for. It has rice paddy views, but it's also on the beach. Mm. Um, um, it's got enough rooms for our immediate family to stay with us. It can be casual, we can just kind of do everything there and then. There's, we can have the reception there, the ceremony there. I mean, it felt real before, but I just typed out the numbers and then we've done the particulars and we're sitting there just hovering over that pay button. Push it, click it, do it. Can we click it together? It's so cheesy. Let's do it together. Right. Don't watch your credit everything right. No, 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 Heading, deposit, Dan and Stacey, reference number. Ready? Click on the left side, you ready? What time? What's the timing? What's the countdown? On zero. Okay. Three, two, one, zero. Oh, we need to click it again. There's a confirm button. Damn. I'm sure you can tell. I'm, we're yeah, pretty yeah. excited about it. Ah! Payment oh. successful. Holy. We're glad we're kind of like, kind of finally um... got the wheels in motion. Yes, yeah. yeah, yeah, that's exciting. It is exciting. I instantly forgot about the money and just got excited. Aww. That's so cool. That's a good sign. Um, and the last time we were there in our last trip, we got our priorities straight because we actually did some cake tasting. Welcome to the wedding cake diaries. Yeah. Okay. So there's lemon, chocolate, red velvet, vanilla. What's that? Classic carrot. Brown butter sounds really nice. Classic. Classic, fluffy, kind of moist. You know, you're supposed to say that, are you? <laughs> I think that was outlawed back in 99. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you do the soft caramel buttercream and the sauce. As well? Mm. This feels like weird. Surreal. <laughs> Half a cupcake in. Why do we start with the one I was clearly going to like the most? It's a birthday cake. It's birthday cake, eh? It's a bit more like a mud cake. Flavor. But nothing about that screams wedding. Mm -mm. I don't know if I like red velvet. Should we try this next? What is red? Like, how do you have a red cake? So the how things, random. the things that we have locked in, the villa and the cake. <laughs> Everything else we still need to plan. So what else has been going on? We had a really, really cool giveaway. Um, we teamed up with Visit Japan AU to give away a trip to Japan on Instagram. Epic. Want to win a trip to Japan? Yeah. This we is do. this is the sickest giveaway we've ever been involved with. If you didn't see that, unfortunately, it's probably too late already. <laughs> it's it's done skis, but. Um, 
you probably know, we'll do more travel updates at the end because we're clearly not in New Zealand right now. Japan is like number one bucket list for us and a really cool thing off the back of that is Rosetta Stone reached out to us and said, before you make your trip to Japan, TBC when that is, do you want to learn some Japanese? And we were like, hell to the yes. yes. So if you don't know, Rosetta Stone is like the best way to learn a new language. They've got over 25 years experience and they currently have 25 languages available to learn. So for us being able to chat with locals around the world is super important, mm. like even just to know the basics, like hello, please, thank you, that's yeah. super important to You've us. You've probably heard that a lot in our vlogs, like we really do try and make that effort. Yeah, and it would have been really helpful for us in places like Spain, France, Germany, Poland, Greece, Korea, and heaps more. They're all on there. The lessons are all short as well, like 10 minutes long, and there's this really cool approach that I love this way to learning, which is that you actually get instant feedback on your pronunciation for some of the audio-based lessons. Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. Yay. It's awesome that you get instant feedback, but it's also really smart the way that they break it down into categories. So things like greetings, mm. how to order food, travel, and just the basics. Yeah, so you can actually see like, I need to know this thing or this kind of category before I before I visit a new place. Use our link in the description and you can actually save 40% off the lifetime subscription. So pay once, get unlimited access to all the languages and you're set for your travels forever for only 179 USD. Now we just have to learn how to say damn that's freezing in Japanese. This <laughs> one is nice though. I wish I wore my togs. So before we came away on this trip, we went to a beautiful spot called Watercliff, which is one of New Zealand's newest, <laughs> most beautiful, eco-friendly, off-the-grid cabins. It was special. It was stunning. We're staying in one of four. It's in Omanawa, which is close to Tauranga, and They've only been open a couple of weeks, which is why Danger's like, oh, I'm one of the first people here. <laughs> but we are literally today, there is no one else here except us, so it feels like this whole place is our own. You're so silent. That is the Amanawa River that you can hear. There's a waterfall somewhere that I think we're gonna go and check yep, out. Yeah, a watering hole of Birds. the place. So it's like fully equipped. Day, like I love it. So we've got some steak. We're cooking on the barbie tonight. I think the thing that I love the most about it is like, yeah, it's a cabin, but they haven't compromised on the luxuries. Like there's underfloor heating in the bathroom, yeah. there's a heat pump. So although you're off grid and super eco-friendly, it's not like, you're not gonna freeze to death. Yeah, in incredibly eco-friendly, right? Because uh, the solar panels, you can see them out literally just, just behind the building here is where the panels are. It's so cozy. Yeah. I love it. So we've got the one that the view is the one that has the, um, the outdoor hot tub. The only one. So if you want an outdoor hot tub, make sure you book the view. So there's a road up the back here that you actually have to kind of park down at a reception area, like an open flat area. And there's a, a cabin kind of similar to this, which is part of their reception, I suppose you'd call it. Um, and then that's where we met the owners and then they drive you down. We got driven down in this little jeepney because it's about- Jimny. Jimny. Jeepney's from the Philippines. <laughs> oh, I just did. Um, and then so they bring your bags down and everything, but we got to chatting to them. Like this is one of those things where cool couple, similar age to us, yeah, just invested just... all of their ideas and their savings into their baby and created these four cabins out it's here. It's pretty amazing. So, I love this and stuff. And it's, it's awesome to meet like the brains behind these kind of things and see like all their thought processes. And... Yeah. Yeah, I don't know, they've just done an awesome job with all the interior design and stuff and... So because it is sort of semi off grid, you do have to think about um, food and that. So we've, we came prepared, well that's heavier than it probably should be. Uh, so we've got some ice, we've got some drinks and stuff. Because, I mean, look at this. I don't think it's about really getting out and doing all that much. Although we might go to Mount Maunganui or maybe Tauranga tomorrow. Just get out and explore a little bit. But this bad boy is full of steak. Uh, we've got some veggies, we're gonna hit up the barbie. like. We're going to have a, I mean, there's no one else staying in any of the rooms either, so we could stay in a room each if we really wanted to. <laughs> Where are you going to leave me? <laughs> no way. <laughs> so while we're away, we get a lot of questions on like the vlogs or on Instagram saying, how's Nalu? Is Nalu okay? And he is, honestly, he's turned into such a beautiful boy and like so mostly well behaved, right? I mean, we think so because we're his parents. Like, I find it really difficult to talk about while we're away because I miss him yeah. so much. We do get lots of updates from his nana. Yeah, it is um, cute. That every is day cute. we Pup get dates. photos. Yeah, little pup dates and he's doing well. Part of our whole agreement with getting Nalu was basically speaking to Stace's parents who already have, they look after Stace's sister dog, uh, Poppy, who you would have seen maybe in the past quite often as well. So 
part of the deal was, are you in this as well to a degree? Like, will you be there for us when we're away and look after Nalu? And they're like, they're calling, they basically say our boy. And like, yeah, <laughs> they love him so much. Yeah. And it does make it easier to like sort of leave him for short periods of time. But um, so he's we know well he's, looked after. Yeah, he's we know loved. he's in good hands. Yeah. yeah. Speaking of loved, something we love, coffee, oh. right? How long have we talked about coffee for? And then we got so excited. We're like, all right, we're in New Zealand. Let's buy this coffee machine. And it didn't it didn't necessarily go to plan buying a new machine. This is the face of someone who just got scammed. This is unbelievable. Wait till you see what's actually in the box. Spoiler alert, it's not the coffee machine we waited years to buy. What is, what's that? Is it's that second hand? Look, it's all used. Oh my God. They've returned it and it's got a dumbbell in there. Luckily the guy believed us. This is the most weird situation. I was so excited. <laughs> but this story has a happy ending. Yeah, I'm pretty stoked with that. And tasty. So the big one, travel updates. It's funny because at the beginning of the year we sort of had like, honestly not much plans in a way because I mean, we're obviously, we're not traveling full time anymore. So we use New Zealand as our home base. We take trips away and, and kind of returning back and forth. And, and part of that as well is, is so we can have, have Nalu, obviously. So we've come to the end of the, the Bali videos. That was such a great trip. And secretly was while we were planning some of the wedding stuff. <laughs> um, next up is a really quick trip away to Melbourne, which somewhere we love. Oh, speaking of coffee, like that is the coffee capital of the mecca. world. Coffee mecca, great food, looking forward to that again. And then... Thailand! Thailand, baby! Sawadee <laughs> So you know, I mean, we, we booked a one-way ticket to Thailand in 2017. 17? Yeah. yeah. Uh, so this country is very special for us and can we go off the top of the dome? What have we been up to? Okay. What's coming? Started off in Bangkok. So much food. There's going to be so many food videos. Then we went up to our home away from home. Oh, well, you're fast. Holy oh. shit. I was going to be like oh, in a beautiful five-star luxury hotel. Uh, tuk tuk food tour around the city in darkness. Reclining Buddha. Culture. We got ripped off. We did get ripped off. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Oh no. 447 baht for two beers. <laughs> what else? Then uh, we went up. So now you Then now we fun. went up to Chiang Mai. Home away from home. Again, amazing place to stay. Went to all of our favorite food spots. Went on a food tour. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, thank you. <laughs> Powdery texture. Oh, the aftertaste is very buggy. Oh. Auntie May. Auntie May. How are you? We're so good. It's good yeah, to see you. See you. I hope I hope you know who that we won't say too much. I hope you know who this is, but it was that was a very very special that video special. And, and like it's so nice to reunite. Uh, we're looking forward to sharing that one. This is the best pad thai I've ever had. <laughs> really? Yeah. Glad. Yeah, so then we flew down to Surat Thani, which is new mm. for us. We went to a completely new part of Thailand that we've never been to before. We went to Khao Sok National Park. Um, Beautiful. This is like rainforest meets lake meets. So much wildlife out there. Monkeys. We went on rafts. We saw elephants. It was only a couple of days, but it was honestly like such an epic adventure down there. A little bit hard to plan. Very we had a few fails yeah. in yeah. there. Yeah. Um, but then after that, we made our way over to the coast and we caught the ferry over to Koh Samui. Samui is an island that we haven't been to but is um, second largest in Thailand so one of the things that people say that they like about it is that you've got kind of that city in a way more central but then also around the outside is a lot more of the resorts and so again another beautiful resort that we stayed at and the chance to like jump on a scooter and you know hang out at the beach and explore and yeah. it was a bit more of a slower paced but really interesting finding that like balance between yeah the city and the beach life and that resort lifestyle but still anyway heaps of fun we did loads of cool shit there as well including a trip out to Ang Thong uh, National Park Marine Reserve <laughs> as well which <laughs> Yeah, I might have broken my toe and all of that oh, as well. God. And one other trip. We have a few other trips lined up that we probably shouldn't say too it's much just in days. case they don't they don't pan out necessarily. But um, we do have one very special one, which I think you should explain. We are taking my dad to Malaysia. So if you don't know, I'm half Malay. My dad is from Malaysia. He moved to New Zealand when he was 30 years old. Um, and we've been back as a family once. That was years ago, right? Like that was 2008 before that we, we met. went. Yeah. yeah. Um, and so it's been my dream to be able to take him back and 
kind of go on a massive adventure with him and travel the way that Dane and I do, going to eat street food and just kind of like do whatever he wants to do, do some touristy things, mm. head to Penang. Um, he, honestly, it's all about the food for him and I'm sure a lot of Malaysian people can um, relate to that. Yeah. I just can't wait to see how he is back home and... That'll be cool, but it's kind of touching. It's something that, you know, not long after meeting Stace had said, I really want to take my dad to Malaysia one day. You know, capture his adventure mm. going back to his home country. And we want to bring you guys along, obviously, because that's, you know, shit's going to be fun for us and fun for you too. But yeah, thank you for watching. And of course, thanks again for all of the support, the comments, the likes, the shares, the, the feedback. We really appreciate it. But we're going to have... Um, about 10 videos from this Thailand series, one coming up from Melbourne as well. Um, yeah, stay tuned, come hang out and come travel with us soon. Yay!